This video will cover navigating EEC eForms, which is the system used to electronically submit forms and applications to the Energy and Environment Cabinet. If you have questions about creating your EEC eForms account, check out our video on EEC eForms account creation. Once logged in, you will be brought to the home page. The menu is across the top of the page. To begin, we are going to take a look at the dashboard. This is your dashboard. As you can see, there are multicolored tabs across the top of the page. Let's zoom in on these just a bit. From left to right, we have unread messages, incomplete eForms, eForms pending EEC review, and completed eForms. We will start with the blue button labeled Unread Messages. Any correspondence from EEC eForms will appear here. Next is the green tab labeled Incomplete eForms. Any forms you open, even if you don't enter any information into them, will show up in the My Incomplete eForms tab. If you have opened up one, filled it out and saved it for later. It will be located in this tab. Even if you open up a form by accident, it will show up here. Forms that you have submitted will show up in the eForms pending EEC review tab or the yellow tab. This means the eForm has been submitted to the Energy and Environment Cabinet, but has not yet been assigned a reviewer. Lastly is the red tab, or the completed eForms tab. If your form is in this tab, it means that EEC has received it and it has entered the review process. You will receive further correspondence by email to the contact information associated with your account. To see detailed information about any eForm in your dashboard, continue with the saved eForm or get a head start on a similar new eForm, click its submittal ID number. This will bring you to the form details page. For the eForm here, you can see the basic information about the form. You can also find the options to continue with an eForm after saving or start a new eForm from a submitted one. Moving across the menu at the top of the page, Next, we will have the forms list. This is where all EEC eForms are located and can be opened. In order to submit an eForm, you will need to use the plus sign to open the eForm. Clicking or hovering on the eForm name will give you a description of the form and its use. You can use these boxes to filter the results if you know a specific form name, ID number, or only want to look at eForms from a certain division within EEC. Some eForms ask for basic information about the facility to be entered and then allow for uploading files to submit forms. For example, the Division for Field Operations Branch eForm has options to upload files for different reports, including the Annual Compliance Certification, which uses the DEP 7007CC form a Microsoft Excel file provided by the Division for Air Quality. Other eForms may be completed entirely within the EEC eForm site. At the bottom of any form, you can click the bottom left button to save your work. This way you can exit and later find the incomplete form in your dashboard to continue where you left off. A quick note about using eForms in general. These forms will time out after about 45 minutes of activity. So you may want to consider saving frequently so you don't accidentally lose any work. Once the eForm is complete, click the bottom right button to submit it to EEC. EEC eForms can be used for many different forms. You can use eForms for submitting reports to the Division for Air Quality Field Offices and submitting DAQ permit applications and source sampling related forms. Division of Waste Management Superfund reports, 
underground storage tank registrations, and hazardous waste registrations and reports. Division of Water stormwater permits, including no exposure certifications and notices of termination. It is important to remember that many e-forms are multi-purpose and can be used to submit multiple types of reports or applications. So who can submit through EEC e-forms? Most e-form submissions do not require submission by the responsible official. Some e-forms have a section for the e-form preparer. Most EEC e-forms that require responsible official signatures will be signed previously, then uploaded. Some e-forms are required to be submitted by the responsible official. E-forms can be shared using the Assign Submittal feature, which we will go over next. To use the Assign Submittal feature, navigate to the Forms Details page for the e-form you would like to share. Below the Forms Details section is the Assign Submittal function. Here, you will need to type or find the email associated with the account you would like to share the e-form with. If you have any additional questions about EEC e-forms or navigating the EEC e-form site, feel free to reach out to us by email at envhelp at ky.gov or by phone at 502-782-6189.